Hi everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Art. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video tip is for catchers and it involves the bare hand. Now there's a lot of danger in catching uh, uh, in any, any time you step out there. But one of the problems that catchers run into is this bare hand is usually in a very vulnerable position because it has no protection. So you want to make sure as a catcher, whether you're a young kid just starting out or a kid who's in the higher levels, you want to make sure you do a good job of protecting this hand. Now the first tip I'll give you with this is uh, catchers should always try to make a fist with the bare hand and that protects them if I have any fingers out and a ball would hit the fingers it's more likely that something's going to get broken or bruised to the point where I'm not going to be able to throw but when you're making a fist there's a way to do it uh, that catcher should adhere to so if I would hold up my hand here the first thing you're going to do is get your thumb out of the way so if I hold my hand up a catcher is going to put their thumb inside and then wrap the fingers around the thumb if the thumb was on the outside then that is something else that the ball can hit and then I got problems with that. So always wrap your thumb inside your fingers. Now you always want to have a loose fist. Uh, if I have a very tight fist and I'm still really squeezing it, there's no give in my fingers. So if a ball were to hit my hand, there's no give. It's ball on fingers and uh, the ball is going to win that battle. If I have a very loose fist, very much like I'm knocking on someone's door, you don't squeeze your hand when you knock. You just kind of put your hand uh, in a loose fist and you knock. It's very much like catchers are going to do here. A very loose fist so that if the ball hits the fingers, the fingers are going to give a little bit because you're not squeezing so tight. Okay, so tip number one, put the thumb inside. Tip number two, a loose fist. And then we have the question, well, where do you put your hand? Okay, well, from what I, I tell my catchers, that it really depends on whether someone's on base or not. Uh, obviously, if there's someone on base, I want to make sure that I can get up and transition from catching to throwing uh, a little faster. So there's a different way I'm going to have my guys hold their hand when there's runners on base. But if there's nobody on base, I tell them, get the hand out of the way and protect it as much as possible. And that means putting it behind the foot. Uh, of the same side your hand is on. So if I give my sign, I hop out and I'm in my uh, catching receiving position, I'm going to take the proper fist like I showed you and I'm going to put it right behind my foot right here because really no foul balls are going to get to it. I don't want to have it out here or back under here or over here because then it has a chance of getting hit. So loose fist behind your foot and it's usually going to be a good, uh, in a good protected area. Now, if there's runners on base and you need to have two hands close together so that you can get up and throw, take that same loose fist and I will have catchers put it behind their glove if that is something that is comfortable for them. Now, catchers want to make sure that they're not putting it right on their glove because obviously if the ball hits the glove, it's going to hit their hand. Okay, so keep it about an inch behind the glove. Now, one of the tricky parts in doing that is if the ball is thrown and you have to move the glove if you move the glove up to catch a high pitch then the bare hand is left here and a foul ball can get it so it can be a little tricky moving both hands around uh, and it's one of those things where it's just kind of an occupational hazard if you're a catcher there's always going to be some danger there so you do the best you can now even with some runners on some catchers still like to put that hand behind their foot just for total protection and they are quick enough about getting that hand up when they need to catch and throw. Okay, so protect that hand. You want to make sure you keep a loose fist as I show you and either put it behind your foot or put it right behind your glove about an inch away and you'll be good to go. All right, well, I'm Coach McCurry. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Have a great day and thanks for watching. <laughs>